Hey everybody, Swamp Clean here, back with another video for you. Now this video was going to be just a single topic video, but um, a lot of stuff's been happening the past uh, 24 hours, a lot of information has been dropping, um, so this is going to be a multi-topic video, um, and as you can see on your screen, that one of those topics is this whole uh, Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, uh, uh, New York Post story snafu. Um, your New York Post dropped a story that implicates Hunter Biden as helping uh, his buddies at Burisma uh, get connected with Joe Biden, his father, who was the vice president at the time, for um, whatever reason. Um, but those were those were whatever reasons those were that resulted in uh, Hunter Biden getting a lot of cash and also uh, getting a. Uh, Ukrainian prosecutor fired who was uh, on the uh, on the trail of the company that Hunter worked for Burisma and he was investigating them and he was trying to figure out where a lot of their what a lot of this money was going so but that uh, story was conveniently uh, memory hold by Twitter by Facebook um, if you try to link share anything you get your accounts locked down and it's not just average people uh, actual people in the government as well, uh, Kaylee McEnany, the Secretary of State, which I do believe this is somehow violating some kind of, of, of law or some, this is, this has got to be interfering somehow in the communications of elected, of, of government officials. So, I mean, this has to be wrong in some kind of way. But, um, that is, I mean, this is, you can see that this is an entire big, onion and you just had to peel this back and uh, it's going to be very interesting but the second topic also was going to be that the WHO and the UN the other day came out and said that mm, having lockdowns like we did for the past like eight months to stop coronavirus were probably a bad thing and should have been used as a last resort so now they're saying that because of these lockdowns more people have been affected negatively by the lockdowns than by coronavirus itself that includes famine, that includes people um, having mental breaks, uh, psychological breaks, people yeah, having suicides. Uh, then, of course, there's people who have already have um, pretty serious illnesses that now are dead or even in worse shape because they cannot get or could not get the medicines they need to uh, survive or get better. <clears throat> so, let's start off with... Um, with the COVID stuff, and we'll get back to Joe Biden. After supporting coronavirus lockdowns for months, the WHO just made a reversal of the year. After months of warning of the necessity of coronavirus lockdowns as a means of getting the COVID-19 pandemic under control, remember, it was or it was originally going to be two weeks to, to flatten the curve, stop the spread, and then after that it was okay. Now put on put on some masks and and social distance. And it gets more and progressively and progressively harsher and harsher. And now they're all saying that, well, now that's causing incalculable damage to uh, to society. So this is where I believe we are getting into Epstein didn't kill himself territory. Now hear me out here. The whole notion behind Epstein didn't kill himself is having to do with conspiracy theories. Oh my god, conspiracy theories. Oh my god, I can't do, uh, talk about conspiracy theories because that makes you a, a weirdo or something like that. But when the whole notion of Epstein didn't kill himself come out, it's because what we knew about Jeffrey Epstein, who he was, the information that we had so far, child trafficker, uh, sex trafficker, uh, rich billionaire, owned a secret island, had kids there, had people there. Um, flight logs showed very important people like um, um, Bill Clinton and many others. Plus now we have pictures of, of uh, neck massages and stuff like that. But here's the thing. When he was put in that maximum security, everyone was like, oh my god, you got to make sure that he is looked at 24 7 because he's he's gonna wind up dead somebody's gonna kill him because remember high-powered individuals when it comes to dealing with child stuff 
um, they'll do whatever it takes to hide their tracks. So when he wound up dead, and the official story was that he killed himself, everybody was like, Heh heh, bullshit. Epstein didn't kill himself. It's, it's, it's harder to believe the official story that Epstein killed himself than it is to believe that somebody got in there and killed him to stop him from talking. And this is why I think this is why I think where we are in this whole COVID debacle. It is harder to believe the 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 mainstream story that all this that's happening to to the world, all these lockdowns and the social distancing and and the penalties and the fines and and the contact tracing now and the apps that you need to put on your phone, all these things are are now because we're protecting you from the virus or we need to protect ourselves from this virus. It's harder to believe that now than to believe that maybe this is um, a way for uh, the people in positions of power to see how much control they can uh, obtain through legal or unilaterally illegal means over the people. How much control? Where? Because now we've gotten to the point well, yeah, we went from wearing masks to now social distances. Now, it's anybody who coughs, anybody who sniffles, everybody looks now like it's a pariah. It's already starting to affect people, like, subconsciously and mentally that way, where people are starting to change how they interact socially. And that's going to tear apart society, at the, uh, the fabric of society. It's going to start tearing at that, and it's going to make things really bad, and... and Humans are not going to want this. Humans will become aggressive. They're, we will become, instead of commingling and and de developing relationships, we're going to become isolated, we're going to become um, agitated due to that, and it's going to just become a very tribalistic uh, mentality, one, like, f each man for himself kind of thing. And that's not good. So, because... They're telling us now that lockdowns are not what we should be doing until it's the last resort. But you have places like Australia, you have places like New York, and um, Europe, um, the Netherlands, um, England, they're doing now harsher lockdowns because of the rise in COVID cases. And that's all you hear. It's always about the rise in the cases. You never hear, like, they never push the, the uh, hospitalizations or the death rates when because they're declining or stagnating but if there's ever like a small leap they'll say oh boy look there's a spike in the death but the, it's always about cases 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 that's what they drive in your mind the more cases there are that somehow means the worse this disease is so that's how they get people to, to stoke the panic and stoke the fear so i mean you have this coming from um australia grim warning aussies face two years of social distancing and no overseas trips until everyone is vaccinated from covid 19. ha 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 everyone is vaccinated sounds like mandatory vaccines to me and everybody was like a couple months ago no 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 there aren't any going to be mandatory vaccines i think that would be a bad idea i mean you know people have you know rights and stuff like that but hmm why would the people in the positions of power now start saying that, oh, well, everybody needs to get vaccinated before we can start, you know, traveling again. And I mean, for kids, if you're going to go to school, you need to, to download a, a, an app that can track you around the campus so we can know that if somebody ever gets sick, we can figure out and follow back and trace back where you've been. But remember, it's for your protection. Vaccines, for your protection. I mean... It's not like that uh, there was a trial that was halted now because a bunch of people got sick from a vaccine. I mean, who knows? What happens if, if they okay a vaccine, which has no adverse side effects that they can find, delivers it on a mass scale, and then a year f later, like, people get organ failure for some reason because there's a delayed response. I don't know. Who knows? That, that shit can happen. But... If they say that everybody needs to get vaccinated, see, that's the thing. First, it was like, wear your mask. See, once you get people to wear the mask, you get people to do more and more extreme things. 
then because you, you'll you'll give them the same as you well to protect you to protect the people around you. you don't want to get grandma sick right see this is that this um this um this fallacy this this um guilty fallacy like you're you're going to be guilty of getting grandma sick because you're the one who caused it and this is what they're doing to Donald Trump. He's like, oh, he's going to super spreader events. And look, he's going to get everybody sick. Because look, him dancing right there, I can just see the virus spreading and flying off of the president and getting everybody in there sick. And if somebody does get it, it's because of that person right there. That, like, it's it's so silly. The logic is, is, is dumb. But why would they be doing these things? And they have to, and they keep pushing. The federal uh, budget is so grim news, hoping that the pandemic to end soon and life will turn to normal. But that's not going to happen. Um, yeah, the operative won't be vaccinated until the end of 2021, which means overseas travel will remain low and the social distancing measures will be kept in place. Jesus Louise, man. Like, where? what happened? How can they just shift these arguments from... And the media allows it to go along because... Remember, the media was, and the social medias were, uh, banning and censoring anything that goes against the narrative of the Hoover WHO. I mean, the WHO and the UN and all these other um, non-government organizations. But now that they said, well, lockdowns are a bad thing, are they are they going to censor all the people saying that lockdowns are now, hey, look, we told you it's a bad thing? Or, no, I see what's happening, I believe, is that they're going to ignore what the WHO just said, Places that are going to keep locking down are going to keep locking down and suppressing people saying, hey, look what the WHO just said. Well, remember, the WHO has been discredited because you guys have discredited the WHO because, you know, they're in the in the bank for China, in the in the tank for China. They're pretty much the Chinese World, uh, World Health Organization. So they're going to, like, flip the script and they're going to say that, well, what we're doing, we're going to just ban things because it's in the best interest of everybody to just stay protected. So, just listen to what uh, the government says. Listen to what your the leaders say, and do what they do what uh, whatever they want because this is how we're going to protect ourselves. They're going to just you know sweep it under the rug. That's my opinion. I, I can just see that because they've been banning everything until up until this point. Because but now since the WHO has actually taken a a flip on the main narrative of lockdowns. They're probably just going to ignore that and keep going because why? It's not because it's about protecting us and keeping us safe from a virus. It's about those in positions of power seeing how much more control and how much more power they can obtain. Like, they want to figure out where you're going, who you're meeting with, what you're buying, uh, what you're doing on the way back home. They want to know if, like, you you can, you can how many times you've uh, inhaled and exhaled oxygen. They're going to ask you if you can smell things. They're going to ask you if you can taste anything. They, these people can come inside your home. It's in Australia. especially, and, and, and it's funny because friends might say, like, well, that's in Australia. That's not going to be here. Well, start somewhere. And they say, like, oh, well, who's going to be toppling? Who's going to be taking down statues of Thomas Jefferson or Abraham Lincoln or George Washington? Donald Trump. Who's going to do that? Oh look! Look what happens. See, it starts somewhere. So if it's it, it happens in Australia, that means overseas travel will be limited until there is a COVID vaccine. But that means also people in other countries would have to be vaccinated to come on in and stuff. So that means the entire world would probably have to have the vaccination before Australia would be allowed to open up completely and then people allowed to be moving around freely. That is unobtainable. In in that in 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 like a that is unobtainable for years and years and years and and remember people will resist too because you cannot have mandatory vaccinations where are people's rights are they forgetting about them conveniently it looks like these people are forgetting about everybody's rights I mean they're issuing fines in New York City over one hundred and seventy thousand fines in the first weekend of new lockdowns and a, and a lot of that the vast majority of that is targeting certain communities and I wonder why those hot spots are getting targeted because there's a certain community and like this picture will uh, somewhat explain that and then other areas which are also designated hot spots are being ignored I mean when protests happened for Black Lives Matter those were ignored nobody was contact traced they even tried to claim that um, Black Lives Matter protests would limit the spread because it would it would because more people are in the streets, more people would stay at home. That doesn't make any sense. So you got 
all this stuff going on. You you have the who now saying no lockdowns are a bad idea until it's like worst case scenario. That's when you should lock down. But all these governments will arbitrarily say well what we're dealing with is the worst case scenario. So they'll just stay shut down. So in my opinion, we are in Ep Epstein didn't kill himself territory. Um, co like we are in uh, lockdowns are not about stopping the virus. That's the lockdowns are not about stopping the virus or limiting the spread. Lockdowns are about seeing how much uh, authoritarian control can be exerted on the human population and how much can get be get uh, be gotten away with, because then those those uh, new rules and regulations will stay, and then for a while we'll get used to them, and then when something else happens, they'll take more and more control. It's they're they're biting off as much as they can chew, and then they're going to wait until they can bite off more. It's there's we're being slowly consumed. We're we're being the frogs in the pot. We're getting boiled over. So people need to uh, figure this out. Uh, see that it's not about cases. It's about who is getting sick. We know who's getting sick. Elderly people. Vast majority is elderly people. Vast majority of the dead. Elderly people. You can see. You can ex successfully isolate the elderly population population without start like without having starvation or like logistical problems and protect other people and allow the rest of society to go back to work go back to school open up and let um covid burn through that population by using oh herd immunity which is also the who says unethical which is how is something unethical which has been used since the dawn of time for humans to get over all the diseases we faced before all the diseases we faced before herd immunity plays a role so why should we ignore that doesn't make any sense but uh, let's move on to the second topic which was just breaking last night which was why i delayed the making of this video but um facebook Twitter and others censor uh, the New York Post's uh, Hunter Biden expose. And long story short, uh, emails and, and including pictures and some videos of um, Hunter Biden, like pictured, you know, smoking crack out of a crack pipe and doing some rather um, risque things with a unidentified woman. Uh, some video, uh, some emails were also in this expose showing that. Uh, his Burisma buddies were emailing Hunter and thanking him for giving them the opportunity to meet his father, uh, Joe Biden, who was the pre uh, vice president at the time. And Joe Biden has said that he's never had any knowledge of his brother's of his son's business dealings, and he's never uh, gone with his son or been in contact or known with anybody. Well, apparently that's uh, verifiably false because even the Joe Biden campaign said that. Well, they didn't deny it, and they and they didn't say it was false. They said that well, we cannot, you know, at this time, um, you know, come up with the information saying that whether or not Joe Biden remembers, whether or not he talked to somebody, and like, oh my God! So Twitter, Facebook, all these people um, jumped on it because you know they're in the tank for the Democrats because uh, they've been pushing this steel dossier and this Russia, Russia, Russia stuff all for years and years and years, but anything that's negative about Joe Biden or Hunter Biden, anything that's, you know, pretty much projection about what they've done onto, onto Donald Trump, you know, we need to cover that up. So uh, it, it's, it's pretty funny. Here's a, here's a, a tweet by Tim Poole. It says, oh, how stupid the super times we live in. This was yesterday. Joe Biden did not push out a Ukrainian prosecutor for investigating his son. The Washington Post confirms it. So this is after the the New York Post's uh, expose dropped, and which was then um, memory hold and and throttled, so barely anybody could post it. And if they're banning the press secretary and other high-ranking government officials, they're pretty much going to ban any average American from letting this out. So you guys are not platforms. You guys are straight up um, moderating, editorializing the news cycle. So you guys are publishers. You guys need to lose your Section Two Thirty protection. And you guys need to get sued to high heaven. And in my opinion, even though I don't, don't like to take this stance on things, 
I believe that Facebook and Twitter need to be nationalized. They need to become just like a utility company. That's my opinion. But they confirm it. Oh, the Washington Post confirms that the Ukrainian prosecutor was not pushed out by Joe Biden or anything. But remember, the Washington Post also endorsed Joe Biden in, this, in September. S <laughs> Jesus, Lord. See, I mean, like, it's, 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 see, uh, I, I tweet back to him, nothing to see here, please disperse, because, you know, shh, quiet, we're, we're, just because, you know, we're saying that he didn't do anything doesn't mean it has anything to do with the fact that we're supporting him, but, oh, look, here we go, in 2006, Ukrainian Prosecutor General Viktor Shokin, in his investigation of corruption involving Burisma Holdings, a natural gas company, identified Hunter Biden as a recipient of $3 million from the company. Why would he get $3 million? He can't speak uh, Ukrainian. He doesn't know anything about natural gas. Why is he on the board? Is it because his name is Biden? Oh, I don't know. And then not wanting... Now, this is a little bit of opinion, but not wanting this corruption exposed, Joe Biden swung into action using U.S. loan guarantees as, host, as hostage while demanding show can be fine, uh, a.k.a. quid pro quo. Same thing that they uh, were trying to hang Donald Trump on in impeachment earlier this year, which was conveniently... The time when COVID was just coming around, when Trump was actually taking action doing travel bans, and then Joe Biden and others say that what he was doing was xenophobic and you should go out into Chinatown and, 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 and have fun. Thank you, Nancy Pelosi. But then Joe Biden actually brags about his interference. So where's the video? Here we go. Yeah. Uh... Um, I remember going over convincing our team, our <clears throat> others, to convincing us that we should be providing for loan guarantees. And I went over, I guess, the 12th, 13th time to Kiev, and, uh, Kiev. and I was going, supposed Kiev. to announce that there was another billion-dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had. They were walking out to press conference. The state prosecutor, who was at that time investigating my son, who was working uh, on this uh, Burisma board that he had no reason to be on, said, "No, I said I'm not going to. We're, we're not going to give you the billion dollars." They said, "You have no authority. You're not the president." The president said, "I said call him." <laughs> now, uh, now, why wouldn't you? Now, what reason did you explain why you weren't going to give him the billion dollars? Oh, yeah, that's right, because you had to fire this guy first. But what was the reason by why you had to fire? Oh, because you said that he's corrupt. Oh, it's not. It's kind of like oh, pointing the finger before the finger gets pointed at you, right, Joe? You you cut him off at the pass, right? I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid. Oh, they put in place somebody who was solid. And it turns out somebody who dropped the investigation on Brisma, stopped looking into all this stuff, and said, huh, what? What swept it under the rug? That's the solid person they put in place, a.k.a. somebody who was... Um, at least sympathetic to uh, Biden's plight and was willing to overlook it. And Shokin was, you know, thrown to the wolves. And this video should be tweeted at the Washington Post whenever they tweet anything out today and tomorrow and every day from henceforth because they are lying. And why are they lying? They're lying because they endorsed Joe Biden. So does pretty much every other major media outlet. And it's it's so silly. It's uh, I don't. It's we live in upside down world. We live in 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 gaslighting one oh one. It's it's like that's why Twitter. And, and Facebook are the cesspits of what they are in the in the in the in the in the sense of how they operate right now they are allowed to editorialize allowed to be publishers while still continuing to have the protections of, of a platform and 
they're allowing their bias to run amok. They need to be brought to heel. They need to be brought to heel. I don't know what's going to happen. But like, these were some big October surprises. Yeah, October is definitely heated up. October is definitely heated up. Donald Trump is back on the campaign trail of going harder than ever. Uh, Joe Biden gets like, what, 10, 20 cars to, to roll up to one of his uh, uh, campaign stops. Donald Trump can get 10, 20,000 people. I, the polls are more cooked than they were in 2016, guys. Just stay the course. Go out there into the real world. Talk to people. Talk to friends. Find out uh, who's registered. And get three other people to join you and go out and vote on November 3rd. Just go out there, talk to people, talk to normal people who are who are who are like, ah man, I don't know who what's going on. Like this is crazy. Like the who just said that we shouldn't be doing lockdowns, but like I don't know what's going on. Be like, yeah, just talk to people, show them the facts, show them the info, and show them the reaction of some of these crazy liberals to, to a lot of these things. They just ignore it and then just push like more debunked stuff. Like they they'll they'll like ask her that. This is like this. Donald Trump is really like a fine people hoax or something like that. They'll they'll regurgitate whatever they want. They'll say, "Oh, this is false," but remember, Donald Trump believes people are fine people. That's what I was trying to say. They'll just s gaslight and then move on to something fake. Oh my lord! It's frustrating. It's frustrating. So get out there. Talk to people and make sure that uh, this guy, Joe Biden here, Mr. Quid Pro Quo Joe, that's, he should bring that one back. Uh, Sean Hannity should bring that one back. Quid Pro Quo Joe. Um, he should not be allowed anywhere near the White House ever again. Uh, you got to vote for Donald Trump because I think about the lid is about to get ripped off of a lot of these things. And if you want it to continue, if we want it, the sunlight to continue to be exposing these corrupt rats infesting, infesting the deep state the democrat party and the republican party you gotta get you gotta give president trump four more years all right so remember covid lockdowns not a good idea who's that from the who so don't ban me because it's not me who said it now it's the who and uh joe biden probably shouldn't be in the office because I don't know who he's going to allow his son to deal with if he does get into the presidential spot <laughs> because you know who he allowed to deal with when he was in the VP spot so if Biden gets that number one spot God who is he going to be working with? who's he going to allow his son to be working with all right I think that's about everything so this has been the swamp cleaner hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll catch you guys later